Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored. And share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Anonymous underscore. Alright, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, unfortunately, we have to report something, man. Rest in peace to 1017 artist, your boy Big Scar, man. He was a rapper from Memphis. Although he was signed to Gucci Man 1017 label, he was a Memphis artist. He was only 22 years old. And, you know, a lot of his peers have pretty much confirmed his death. A lot of people are asking, you know, they think it's due to gun violence or whatever. But surprisingly, it was actually due to an overdose. Now, a lot of people thought his death was like due to something that comes from the street or something. Because his last story he, that he put up said, quote, if you hit one of those people I tagged in my last story, they cuffed somebody money. It wasn't me. But if you need promo or features or anything, hit at dirtbag underscore 800, at jfetty, or at fat, fat cub, whatever. I don't do bad business. So to me, it looked like that somebody was impersonating him, taking people's money for whatever reason, doing whatever with it. But however, it wasn't him. He's letting people know that it was just bad business. Um, Not to mention, you know, confirmation also came from a fellow Memphis rapper by the name of Kato Two Times. Where he took to Instagram on his story and he said, quote, heart hurting, can't believe this ish. I tried to get you off that ish. I guess I ain't try hard enough with the heartbreak emoji. So that let us know that pretty much it was involving some type of pills or drugs in the whole entire mix. Now, one thing I do want to say, man, um, this culture of drinking lean and sipping pills and doing all these drugs somehow was celebrated. You know, somehow it's amplified. Somehow we glorify it. That's not what we do, though. You know, um, that's not a part of our culture. Somehow, it, you know, it kind of snuck its way in. But that's not what we do. And with all these rappers dying, with all these people losing their lives or going into whether it's cardiac arrest or some some type of weird symptoms, people seem to not get it i don't know if it's a thing to where people think that it can't happen to them or i don't know but at the end of the day this is something that has to stop this is something that's being glorified so what happens is if you glorify it the younger generation come up will do the same and it would just become a repeating cycle you know this man overdosed at 22 years old man he was definitely one of gucci man's biggest artists on the 1017 label and to be honest with you i don't know what's going on over there man but 1017 is starting to look like one of those labels that's just not the place to go you know from people being locked up or killed or things just not working out it's not the place to be but it is what it is y'all come up with your own conclusions as of right now it's rest in peace big scar um my condolences go out to his family if you look on his youtube he actually has some of the biggest videos when it comes to views wise when it comes to the whole 1017 camp and all that so it's definitely going to be a big loss when it comes to the whole 1017 camp and just you know period so y'all jump in the comments let me know how y'all feel don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content and remember as long as you keep on watching i'm gonna keep on dropping i'm out